Hi everybody, it's Kate from Katie Did. Today I got some permission to access the river through some private land and I'm excited to see what I can find. So come along. So many beautiful rocks. The first obstacle was getting down this fairly steep slope. It's, uh, it's soft, so it was not too bad, but it's a lot steeper than I thought it was. How lovely. It's so quiet. I think the river proper is actually across over on the other side of this island, but there's plenty of gravel to look at here. Well, Kava has found a way over onto this other island, the gravel bar. But I'm not quite ready to go there yet, so I think I'll stick on this side for just a little while. Just picked up this little piece. It has kind of bluish spots in the red, and I think it's so pretty it's going to go in the tumbler. And so I wanted to show you that. And I also found this piece, which is just a plain old sedimentary rock. But I just thought that the, the target shape was so cool on it. I wanted to share. And here is just a nice little agate. Looks like it's got some, some inclusions or ribbons or something in there. It's pretty dark. Nice. Ooh, this one looks like it might be nice. That one is too, too cloudy. Ooh, and just as I'm going past, this one looks kind of interesting too. No, that one's just too milky. That's all right, we're headed down to the stream. Might have to go back up to the car because my boots Oh yeah, that is super pretty. You can see there's inclusions here. And if you look at how dark this is all the way through, that means that there's lots and lots going on inside of there. And that's what we're looking for with the Montana agate is to have lots of fun stuff. And speaking of fun stuff, look at this. Oh, I love these. These are called mammillary bumps for obvious reasons. And they are a type of formation that the chalcedony makes. And uh, I just think they're so cool. And look, it's got little circles even on them. And a little bit of banding. This is a cool chunk. This is agatized wood. And you can see every single grain. That is really nice split like a like a rail almost cool and over here there's another little chunk of agate not so very clear but close I just love it when I pick up an agate and there's just like it's just obvious you know there's some banding there got that white stuff on it cool Okay, well, I managed to leave my boots and my backpack and my spray bottle in the car because I was so enthusiastic about getting down here. But a fellow who just stopped by to get minnows showed me an easier way up, so I climbed back up and now I have everything. So we should have some really good luck.
This is a really interesting rock. It's got dimples all over it, and dimples on the other side too. I don't know what it is, but it is interesting. Oh, that's a pretty little thing. Look, you can see it's totally flat on that side. Huh, that's interesting. I've read that this is called salt and pepper, or just pepper, pepper agate. Oh, that's pretty. Piece of cake. Well, we are spoiled for choice here. I could go down this direction where there's a gravel bar. I could go down this direction where there's a small beach, but on the other side of all those trees is actually uh, the other side of the river. It's, it's, this is an island. So I think I'm gonna go this way because even though the river is super low right now, it has not been low for a very long time. So there might be some really good agates still left on the island. Here's hoping. Look at this. It's a gravel road. I think it's not actually a road. I think it's actually where the river cuts through because it's a lower spot, but it looks like a road. Isn't this pretty? Looks like some kind of a metamorphic, metamorphic jasper, but it's so sweet and it's skinny, so it would be easy to just cut into strips and then put in the tumbler. Nice. No, I thought that might be a chunk of petrified wood, but I think it's not. but we have lots more to see. Huh. Looks like kind of a water line agate. Not what I was expecting, but pretty. I think there's no denying that this is a big chunk of petrified wood. Look, it's even got the growth rings showing a little bit. That's sweet. I have, I don't find this very often. This is a chunk of Montana pink granite, and you can't see it because I just sprayed it off, but it has sparklies in it. It has little black sparkles. Really pretty. Oh, that one just, just almost almost made the cut to be an agate but it has too much dark minerals in it too bad let's see if this one's any better It has some of the hallmarks and it has some things that indicate that it's not because of this this vein of quartz in here but i'm going to take it home it's small and it might be really pretty inside just a little peek at the rainbow of rocks that montana has to offer hopefully this quarantine no travel business will be over fairly soon and you can all come and enjoy it That's a nice piece. Looks just like driftwood, but it's not.
This is Kate from Katie Did. Keep on doing.